will never disrespect me. Ever, 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 ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect me, pussy. There you go. Hey, 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 That really be outside and really be doing it on Thanksgiving and all holidays. The only podcast that motherfucking does shit without a contract so the fans can fucking benefit. The only podcast where the producer shows up an hour later than all the vital members. The only podcast that has disrespect packs. Coming soon by Nims, FYL Farms, and Buddy's Bodega. You name it! You name it! You gonna get high, motherfucker! Wow. Yo, Turkey. <laughs> Turkey beat it. <laughs> you, can, you can stand there the whole hour if you want, but you can leave also. Hey, All right, oh, man. Gobble. Yo, we outside in front of the FYL store. Yeah. It is Thanksgiving Thursday. We are coming to you live right now. As you sit, about to go to your family's crib and all of that <laughs> shit. We are live in these streets sacrificing for you. We are not contractually obligated to shout out anybody because our contract is up. We don't even got security anymore. Look, yeah. it's over. Fact. But we always shouting out Monster Energy, you heard? So let's start. Yeah, shout out Monster. Matter of fact, let's, you know how they got a corner, cornucopia? This is a conicopia. A oh, you know I like that. I like First that. First of all, a conicopia. We got Nathan's Glizzies, right? And Nathan's Lemonade. Then we got Rolling Roaster fries, chicken tenders, and plain burgers. You know what I'm saying? And then we got L&B's. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's all the main. When people be like, what's to eat when they come to the store? This is literally it right that's here. For, that's for Thanksgiving? This is our Thanksgiving right here. So that's yeah. that's the cornucopia. That's Thanksgiving. This is the Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And then Ray, that's Uncle Ray, Tio Ray brought mad patelios, <laughs> you know aka man. empanadas. Empanadas. You know <laughs> and we got For the when you spend mad bread at Rolling Roasters, they give you a free pizza. So when people come up and be like, yo, can I get some? They're gonna get the free the free slices from Rolling Roasters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No LMBs. Hey yo. Hey, uh, All right. We can start eating first. <laughs> nah, let's, yeah, fuck it. Fuck it's gonna cold. get cold, bro. Yeah, let's eat. Right. We can eat while Wait, we let me bro. let me say something. She hey, don't eat. You mic'd up? No. <laughs> she don't eat meat. So you guys got nothing for the gay vegan? Yes. Oh, pizza. oh shit. That's not vegan. French fries. Yeah, you even eat gay French food? French fries. French fries. You eat gay food? I eat gay food. That's crazy. You eat gay food? <laughs> hey, yo. You want a little barbecue <laughs> sauce with it? All right. No, I see. I got some fries. Thank gay you, busy. Vegan. I knew. I knew some. No. <laughs> no, I don't want Yo, no meat nah, in my mouth. Let me bite the tips right. off. We got you a smoothie, hey, nigga. You got a smoothie. Hold up, get that. Ray, make sure you get him biting the tip off. Mm. Hey, yo, that's what he does. Hey, yo. <laughs> Which is Yo, I camera. asked mad people from Canarsie and nobody ever heard of that. Yo, you heard? Well, I <laughs> said he asked it. mad people from Canarsie no, nobody didn't. ever heard of that. Nobody ever heard of that. Ever mad the tip people. Yo, mad as well, people. this is for the staff. FIFA, <laughs> you can get some. Ray, get some. Fucking, um... It's Thanksgiving. Harrison. Harrison. I didn't want to call him the fucking, uh... <laughs> Bubbingbird. The, 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 the what, Puffin. The Puffin. We're not going to call Harrison the Puffin. He's We're not, not going to call around him the Puffin anymore. Only today. Yo, only today. Who resembles a puffin. <laughs> Would you, if you want some, come get. You know what I'm saying? I want to tell yeah. Brian, been, Brian over there been sitting, standing there the whole time. He's feeling. Primo, you want, Brian? You want some? You sure? Hey, you want a glizzy? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 Damn, from down the block, Ayo. Yeah, somebody ate yo. So yeah. from down the block, somebody that's crazy. Yo, you gotta eat, yo, you gotta eat the glizzy like that, look. Yeah, you gotta. Nobody had go. L and B's, y'all are bugging. <laughs> Who's this corker's on? 
<laughs> off the streets. Off we the outside. Street? Off the streets. Yeah, I knew you was off the streets. For the streets. For the streets. Yo, Mo. You want something to eat? I'm eat. Whatever you want. No, no I'm not eating any of that. Little man. Fries and duck sauce. Oh, so we're right here. I got, here I got my green. Hey, yo. You don't want no hamburger? You don't want no french fries? Have them beef slice? Go ahead, y'all eat, man. Emp empanadas, all of that. Go ahead, man. The burger's right there. We got greens, beans, tomatoes, potatoes. Don't let that fall. Thank you for what? They came to you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Say unthank you. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, yo, you hungry, bro? Here, yeah, come on. Okay. Okay. Do your thing. I appreciate you. No, five, yes, you five. Do your thing. You name it. Once I, see, once I see your feet, I was like, oh, this guy's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> or cold, yeah, whatever. Thing, Yo, you picked that one up already, bro. Come on. You, it's take it's both of them. Take, take, oh, it's cheese? Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is cheese. All right, yeah, do your thing. <laughs> All right, cheese. Hey, yo, you went crazy on that. You saw that? I was, I was keeping that on the side. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Take, take that shit. Yeah, yeah, you're hungry. It's good. Yo, bro. <laughs> yo, you almost ate the whole burger one shot. All right, let's talk and eat so y'all don't get yo. sleepy. There we go. Yeah, because I'm about to ready to knock out right now. <laughs> what? Again. Got the itis. Yo, listen, again. We ain't under contract no more. All right, we All do whatever the food? fuck we want. All of this food? Papa Nims. Papa Nims. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't under revoke contract no more. So, we ain't, we ain't gonna, we wasn't, we already explained mad times already. Say it one more time. We ain't gonna be under, we ain't gonna do another six months hi, hi, hiatus. So, this is what we're doing. While these, while these decatos argue. Let's go. Now, right now, what I'm gonna do. Is this free? No, it's not. But if you're hungry, you can have some. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> That's like an oxymoron. Like, you don't really know what to do after that. <laughs> like, damn, I'm hungry and it's free, but fuck, I'm not going to take it. But it's not free. Somebody had to pay for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. answer. Somebody here is not free. That's true. It's not like we got sponsored by, by Roller Coaster. Please? It's not like we got sponsored Lizzie by Nathan's. Yeah. We got sponsored it's not by like we got Nems. sponsored by Nathan's. Yeah. You know wink, wink. Saying? The only people that sponsor us is Monster. You know why? Because they some brick. Oh, <laughs> don't edit that out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Take it up. <laughs> Send a letter. <laughs> you don't like my language. You should get offensive today, man. That's what Thanksgiving's all about. Uncomfortable combos. Yup. Yep. Talking being politics offensive. and religion at the table. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's your rule? No politics, no, no religion. Hell no, yeah. Fuck Same, that. I'm good. Yeah, at the, at the Thanksgiving table. Football. Yeah, no football. politics, no religion. Not That's what? your rule for your family? That's my rule because my brothers and sisters are like into all that shit and I'm not. So it's like. And it automatically ruins the, the whole vibe. Yeah, it's always a fight. A how's, good, religion, how's religion ruining the vibe? What's an example of yeah. how y'all are on opposing views? You can talk about religion. You blessed. You're thankful. That's like a reflection of religion. No, right? different. They're like. Christians and she's like my brother my, my brother my younger brother and sister are heavy in faith as opposed to me who's who's not mm -hmm. although I should be considering like I know two heart attacks yeah facts mm -hmm. that part you blast so, uh, baby I don't like talking about that shit because it's just uncomfortable yeah so let's start with some positivity Okay. What are you guys thankful for this Thanksgiving? We'll start with you, Paz, because we named the segment after you. Yeah. Positivity. Positivity. I'm, uh, I'm thankful for, you know. Do it, Just bro. say whatever it is, bro. Uh, say uh, what's uh, real. I'm thankful for my wife and kids. Why? Because uh, my, my wife is more because she lets me be me, you know? 
and I respect that. That's a fact. And uh, my kids, like right now it's tough because I don't speak to my oldest son. Cause he mad, I, I like my views and my opinions. Y'all don't, don't see the him. pain. You know what I'm saying? You only see the jokes. Mm. So I want to fix that if I could. And uh, I'm Tell thankful. Tell you love him. I love you. Oh. My son Cody, my squad Cody Diaz. I love all my kids though, but I'm getting teary out my back. Oh. Oh. Sentimental. That's what we We love sentimental pies. You can get teary out for yeah. that. Yeah, that's beautiful. And uh, I'm thankful for life. I noticed that people take shit for granted all the time. Even after what I went through, I hear people complaining and bitching and, bro, it's so, it, it's nothing to complain that it's you alive. Once you wake up, that's the hard part. Mm -hmm. Just go get it. That's real. That's it. Security's off because it's Thanksgiving holiday, so. Yeah, yeah facts. Just... They don't want, we don't want to pay them time to hire. <laughs> facts. <laughs> nice. It's a free for all. Yeah, that's what I'm thankful for. Life. That's, that's beautiful. That's fucking scumbag. Scumbag of the week. Security. 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 Now, you know why? You don't got security? I'm going to keep it real. Besides the jokes, yeah, Thanksgiving and all of that. Every time we have security, after the episode, they come to me like, yo, Nims, mm -hmm. I let people off, man. You should give me $20, please. Like, $50. On, bro. $50, yo, give me some discounts at the start. Bro, don't secure nothing, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Let the people <laughs> Fuck it, let's don't secure nothing. Let's be unsecure. <laughs> yeah, facts. Because now you hit me with all your insecurities. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your insecurities. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Six, unsecured. what are you thankful for while I blow my nose on camera? <laughs> I'm this is thankful garbage for, for that. Yep, my kids, my family. Uh, I'm thankful to have a vision, you know what I'm saying? Bring a lot of things uh, creatively to life. We're thankful for you for building this fucking city. Thank you, thank you. We're thankful Ooh. for you thank for you, fucking you. not giving hands. stories every day. Yeah, so yeah. Six, continue bro, my bad. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm thankful to, uh, I'm thankful for having a vision. Like I see a lot of people uh, run around, like we were just talking on the Patreon with this dude Popeye, but like a lot of people don't even know what the fuck they want to do in life. Couldn't find nowhere fucking else to fucking sit, bro. You gotta sit right here. Come on, bro. It's good for the humble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's no, that, Brian? Not. Brian? Nah, you're good. Of yeah. Nah, you're good. Stay there. Stay there. It's good for the ambiance. Yeah, like I was saying, I think it's just uh, a lot of people don't know what the fuck they want to do with life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know where I want to be. I know where I'm going. So I'm thankful for that. That was sentimental. It's beautiful. Anybody got fucking some sarcastic fucking thankfulness? Like, oh, damn. Up? Maybe Chrissy does. Chrissy. I, I was going to be sentimental, too. I thought we were getting man, there. fuck sentiment. I was, I was, I'm thankful we for We lit out hands. here, man. Fuck everybody. <laughs> thankful, I'm thankful to be lit and be able to say fuck everybody. Hey. Nah, get the fuck out of here. Nah, I'm only playing. <laughs> I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for my parents. I'm, I, I'm super stoked. I still have both. Hold on. Dad, don't worry about Mad it. Mad traffic. <laughs> Yo, we, yeah. we cover your mouth. <laughs> I know. I'm th yeah, right? Facts. A new strand. Yeah. I'm thankful for my parents that I have a relationship with both of them. You know, I know a lot of people, some people don't have that relationship with their parents. Some people don't have both parents still alive. Correct. And even though my, my father, he lives in Florida and shit like that, but I speak to him every day. Like, I'm just so blessed to have a really close relationship yeah, with both parents. And I, I can, wish like, my pops was alive, so that's cool. Both of my parents are still alive. I'm tight with them, too. Yeah, yeah, that's see, important. Yeah. yeah, not not a lot of people get that, you know. And I, and I wish my I, pops were still alive too, but I'm not gonna mm -hmm. fucking bore the listeners with this, bro. Let's get let's get fucking funny, man. Fuck this thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm not. Uh, yeah, it's your up. turn. Get funny. I'm get a star for show. Revolt for fucking cutting checks for two years. I'm thankful for fucking uh, Coney Island for not supporting nothing I do at this store. You know what I'm saying? Damn. I'm thankful for fucking. Ah, it's true. Fuck that. Fuck that. Thankful for fucking for side talk. I'm fucking thankful for fucking people staring at me while we record. Eh? All right. Man. Well, there's some hungry motherfuckers out here, bro. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. I mean, it's after school time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn, bro. Everybody gotta eat. I'm thankful to be in the position I am after working 20 years for that. Keep it short and sweet. Bang. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm thankful to have fucking good people in my life and good people surrounding me. I'm thankful to have a mother that prays for me and keeps a hedge of fucking protection over me and keeps negativity all blocked away. 
You know what I'm saying? And I'm thankful we got this fucking podcast. And we're in a position to shoot even when we're not under contract and do what the fuck we want. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm that's, thankful that's to be fire. able to do what I want, when I want, how I want, with whoever I want on a daily basis. That part. There it is. There we go. I think our worst episode was the first one because we had no idea what was going on. I don't Facts. think so. You like the first one? Yeah. And the side talk. I, I think I wasn't, the side talk, side talk was, was also worse kind of Because we were kind of figuring it out back then. Yeah, and we were more like mad interviewee and... Uh, Speaking of side talk... I they got, still my guys, though. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Speaking of side talk, uh, a lot of people were like... A lot of my homies were tagging me and like reposting something that they just did with uh with some bing bong shit. I guess because anybody that sees bing bong on a the headline, they think it's you. Mm -hmm. So they was just tagging me in it. I read the whole article. And I seen that they did something speaking about that video that they did in front of Madison Square, but I didn't see you mention nowhere in that. So, yeah. what was your take on that? You know what I'm saying? So, it's a, a culmination of things. One is that was a GQ article on yeah. them per se. I seen that. Yeah. Two is um, the Garden. Ever since I said fuck the Knicks, they don't fuck with me. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to go um Chris De Stefano, the comedian. Mm -hmm. Shout out Chris Stefano. Yeah, that's my guy. Yeah. Um had uh, a show at the theater at Madison Square Garden. He had told me in like March, yo, I got I'm gonna have a show in September at Radio City. I want you to perform after I'm done. Yeah. Because he fucks with my music. He hits me all the time. Yo, I love this song. Blah, blah, blah. That's fire. So they switched it. They had a Radio City night, I guess, and then they had like a um theater at Madison Square Garden night. They just hit me like, yo, can't perform. The garden? Like No, they just the like, the, you know, I had my management and his management oh, okay, okay. connected. And it was just like, nah, we can't do it. Apologize. And then when I spoke to Chris, it was like, yo, you must have pissed off the garden. They said that you can't perform there. What? <laughs> yeah, I guess You're that's literally you know, banned. That's from Are you banned from, from the garden? That's crazy. Because you know they have know. like an AI um, surveillance thing that, that's like facial recognition. I don't know recognition. if I'm banned, that's... but I know that they was just like, nah, we ain't having him. I don't think I'm banned from the actual garden because I'm going... Well, I went the other day to UFC. You know what I'm saying? That's if they snatch it. If they, they have like a, a AI security facial record. Listen, they're known scumbags. Listen, and it's not nothing to do with the actual Knicks team. You know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with the Knicks. Yeah. I want them to win. I, I want them to win the chip and all of that. It's the organization and the way that they handled things mm -hmm. was scumbagish. And nobody could tell me different. I made their rallying cry for fucking two years. You know what I'm saying? And, and as much as they... That's that, and that's what they were trying. I think that was a marketing thing. Like, yo, let's show this video that Nems wasn't in that originally where they was yelling out Bing Bong. Oh, you think that was a play, basically? Yeah. So they but they wouldn't have been yelling out Bing Bong if I wasn't on side talk saying Bing Bong. And no matter, look, the, the episode that came out, this Coney Allen's ego that really blew up, I didn't even say Bing Bong not once in that shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was the, the dude Herman, shouts to Herman, it was um, Hard Hat, but everybody still knows that I made that shit up. It's mine. Yeah, I yeah. created it. You know no, you saying? own it. It's a and I own it. You as own well. it. I look at it too like they're young kids, you know what I'm saying? And they. They're they, smart. They're they smart. They don't come up. They got Shout their out business, Jack right? I, I yeah, like They got I like their them. business, right? They know what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not stupid. They yeah, graduated not. NYU. Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about it on the way over here. Season three, I'm, we're not doing the homeboy thing no more. Well, I'm going to have, like, my homies. Even though Spit Gems, that was, that's my guy. That was a good episode, great episode. Yeah, facts. And, and other people, like Girl Code. I did that really because I fuck with them, and they're good people. And I like their yeah, vibe they, when they I see them. Yeah, they got good You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that's not really bringing nothing to the table. Facts. So it's either we're going to be doing... Y'all gotta know, we're still learning all of this. You know what I'm saying? We're yeah. still learning as we it's go along. Like, like on this is our second season, but we, <coughs> we're still learning every day. Like, we we wasn't like avid podcast watchers or listeners. We just got thrown into this, and we just having fun. It's like hanging out on the block, but you live and you learn different things. Yeah. So, I only want to have, like, build. big guests so, from now on. Or no guests. Either no guests or... A home run. A home run, exactly. Facts. Yeah, yeah. Facts. We shooting for the stars and, and that's nothing. It. And that's it. And if not, we the home run. So yeah, <laughs> if you if you, if you do get the chance to be on this pod, and you don't post, just know when I see you, I'm gonna say something about it. I don't hold my tongue. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Fuck your life. And in New York yeah. City, we don't close our jackets. It's another thing. You that close is, your jacket? Nah, nah. Is that a nah? That's that's a hoodie. Yeah, this is a yeah. hoodie. But nah, you gotta that's see a nice the fit hoodie. in New York. Yeah. Nice you know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. care if it's zero below zero. 
It's showing the face. <laughs> you don't close your jacket? It's basically yeah. zero. zero. I do not close my jacket. <laughs> First of all, I'm not, I'm not a subway dweller. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. I don't wait, take what? the subway. Yo, what's uh, going I'm on over there? I'm walking to the train. I'm not doing this and that. You know? Yo, you picking your nose over there? Yo, what are you guys doing? You're making noise over there. What's going on? Yo, here? shut the car, bro. Shut, shut the, the fucking car. <laughs> shut the fucking door. Yeah, tell me Spanish. Cerra la puerta, pendejo. Mamón. Dale. Cerra la puerta. You don't speak Spanish. You speak Spanish. He looked right at me. <laughs> Driver's Asian. Pussy ass. Yeah, so, uh. So, yeah, New York City, bro. You got to see the fit. I never close my jackets. You close your jackets? Never. Always show the fit. Well, I be cold now, but yeah. I, I used to not. I used to not. But now I, I, I close my. Now that green jacket was closed, my nigga. Who? Yo, you retiring that yeah. green jacket? No, nah, I don't know. Bring that shit back out. I don't know. That what? shit fire. What jacket is this? No, like you wore it on like seven episodes. I don't give a fuck. I'll wear it on seven more. That shit is warm. <laughs> <laughs> that shit got at least seven more I episodes. I can't. I can't. I cannot. That's it. I cannot Yo, get One thing I vowed every episode: I will not wear the same pair of sneakers <laughs> over unless it's a pair of Tims. Mm. That's, but I still haven't worn Tim's on the show. Every episode, I got a different pair of sneakers. I will never repeat a pair of sneakers on this podcast. That's deep. I will. That's I'll, deep. I, I will. That's deep. Let's go for the I might have to. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to try to do the same thing with jackets. Wow, um, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you hype for any new releases? Any any new releases coming up or that just came out? What new releases? What, Kicks. sneakers? Sneakers wise, yeah. Um, yo, those ambush fucking... Uh, air up tempos, the Pippins, but the low top uh, ambush, those might be my favorite sneakers of the season. So much that I went on Stock X just to maybe buy another pair. And I seen this different is colorways. Take forever. Don't worry, he's taking his time. It'll be alright. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the episode, he'll get by. Yeah. Oh, he's running. Thank you, bro. You got it, Bob. He's like skating. Got a little right. pep in his step. <laughs> he got a little pep in his step. He did today. great. Facts, yeah. but the air up tempos, bro. I went. I seen another colorway. I text you that. I fuck with them. Yo, any, any any sneakers y'all fucking with recently? Those kicks that that you posted, that you were like, I don't give a fuck. I need these fucking kicks. Oh yeah, the Am Am. Yo, I hit hats. I hit a few of my homies. That Nowhere. Is, yo, they like yo, I can't get those shits. Mm -hmm. What up with those? They're not a popular sneaker, but they're my favorite sneaker. Yo, this is not available. No sneaker right now coming out. That I'm like, I gotta get these. I don't really feel like that. What sneakers? No. Not right now. I feel like any, in any this ones, weather, like, I'm, I'm a big ones, you know, any type of ones yeah. that come out, I'm going to drop them. Hype a little bit, yeah. a little something. Yeah. In this weather, yeah. I just automatically start thinking about Tim's and shit. Nigga, like you got slippers cold. on. What I need, the fuck I need you talking about? I got four more. You got slippers right now, on talking about in this weather. I think about he Tim's. He said, that's crazy. I didn't even know you looking, had those around. He said it's that crazy. you're looking to get. Yo, he came to my crib and phone one this one time. I was like, bro, you ain't taking off your sneakers, bro. But then he was like, I don't got socks on. I was like, all right. Just I came from on. the beach. That would have been crazy. I would have just been barefooted in this crib. On your, like car, on your car. I said, keep them on. Keep yo, them on. Yeah, he was trying to, he was trying to foot shave you. Foot shave you. Foot shave And he was like, yo, crazy. the bottom of those sneakers is dirty. I said, yeah, I nigga, mean, I'm walking on the street. <laughs> yo. Where's Busy at? Busy over there somewhere. He disappeared. Once again. Taking a break. Look. Wow. I think he's making sure his sperm is okay. What? She's in the back of the car. Essential. Oh. His pet sperm. Oh. <laughs> AKA his daughter. Yeah. That's What's never the worst Thanksgiving bumped. you ever had? The worst Thanksgiving I ever had? I've been having some shitty Thanksgivings because every time Damn. I go, there's nothing vegan. I literally have to cook something and bring it with me to. Yo, vegan Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving got to be. And, and your mother goes, oh, I have big ziti. I got rice and beans. First off, this cheese and a big ziti can't eat that. Rice and beans, I can fuck with. You, gotta, Yo. you guys got to know the difference between plant-based, like vegetarian, vegan. No That's dairy. because once wow. again, you're <laughs> a hype beast. How am I? How is so that right hype? right now, the in thing it's is not in. to be a vegan. I love animals. And so you're a hype beast. Because I know you grew up in the same household as me. Yeah. There was nothing vegan going on. There was none of that. Yeah. You moved you to bed -Stuy, <laughs> You moved to a trendy neighborhood. You trendy. ride your bikes around. I do. And now you're a fucking vegan. Yes. Now you're Native Indigenous. American. Indigenous. Indigenous. Yeah. I'm everything popping at once. 
Yeah. See, everything. I'm now you're gay. Now I'm gay. <laughs> so you're, you're gay, you got a bike, and you're vegan. Like, <laughs> That's crazy. And you're Indian. Yeah. Like. Yes. <laughs> that pretty much sums it all what up else? a little bad. <laughs> That's it. That's there like it a, a bio on IG right now. <laughs> yeah. Which one, which one do you put first? Native. Native? Native. <laughs> That's insane. And what comes second? Vegan. Oh, oh, what about, gay what comes third? The, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gay last. And then yeah, you yeah. ride a bike. The third one. <laughs> and then I ride a bike. Dyke on a bike. <laughs> dyke bike. You should make a bike like that. Yo, dyke word. Dyke, dyke bikes bike. would be fire. Dyke, bike. dyke bikes would be fire. Yo. Noted. Write that down. Yo, I got what, a guy. Uh, what would be the specialty <laughs> about it? Um, You can sit on the bike while someone sits on your face. Oh, no, shit. dyke bike. It's the hard, the hardware pause. Like what? Oh. What will make it? You know, everybody ain't getting hardware like, pause. Yeah, um, everybody ain't getting a fucking woman to sit on their face. Yeah, right. Maybe Every not time you. they ride a bike. Maybe not you. I don't ride bikes. <laughs> <laughs> dyke bike. I gotta think about that. What? What would make it? I mean. Well, we don't got time to think. Okay. Yeah, you gotta Put be a little on the rainbow, fly. Rainbow, rainbow flag on it. <laughs> <laughs> Put a vibrator on it. A vibrator. No yes. seat. No, no, seat. Nah, that's too much. no seat. Oh. Put it right up the butt. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, man, a lot of lesbians would be happier. Yeah. Why they miserable? The bike, the I know, which lesbians are, are miserable? Lesbians are miserable. Aren't, they, the bike, aren't yo, they, the, they mean? Like, the, aren't they known to be mean? Yo, the yeah, bike they, lanes they, will be they, packed. They use, they like, the butch, the butch lesbians like, in, the, in the jean vests and stuff like that? Yeah, they, yeah, they like, with, like the, with the baseball The Canadian hat. tuxedos? <laughs> yeah, it's like um, <laughs> the ones with a stereotype that they're mean. The ones with the baseball hat. I got a story, I got a story. Nobody never, they're mean because they don't nut. They nut because the thing got um for they... Yo, I, I love how you guys are saying. It. Is that true yeah. or no? No, it's I, not true. What is all this? No, is that, that not a thing? What, I'm like the gold vibrator shit. that plays with your shit while you? Oh the yeah, dip, the I mean, no, a strap on. A that strap plays on. Yeah, yeah. Like a thing for your own yeah clip, you can right? have one on the side. See, boom, so boom, you boom. said it's not a thing. Oh, all right, so what's so your story? You know? Go ahead, pause. What's the, oh, uh, so I'm watching the fireworks with my kids. So I went fog. You know, the fireworks be packed, bro. So I'm all the way down there, like 21st, and there's number old people there. And two lesbians, uh, a guy and a girl, but they're girls, you know what I mean? She's talking mad shit, I'm like, but she's looking at me. Motherfucker keep looking at my dick, I'm, I'm knocking niggas out. Mm. I'm with my, I, they little, they in the sand. I'm like, what's this bitch talking to? <laughs> There's only old people around and me. <laughs> so I see her looking like this. It's, she, she got the hat, you know, she a dude. <laughs> She's ready to square up. Yeah, facts. She got the hat. She got the hat. She, got she, the a hat. Dude, she obviously was a dude. And, and a she face. had a hat, yeah. And a face. She had a hat and a face. So, so I leaned in real calm and said, don't let me knock you the fuck out <laughs> on this motherfucking bulwark. She was like, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Would you? Papi, I wasn't dead ass. Pa, I wasn't talking to you, Bob. That's the fuck you was. I'm with my fucking kids. Nobody wants your ugly ass bitch, bro. <laughs> would you would you would you fight would you fight a lesbian if you had to? No. Because it's still a woman. Facts. No matter how no matter But how they she try. Looks. That's the thing that's I, well, How about if she was a woman built like a man? <coughs> still a woman. I don't argue with women fight when I don't do that. You just right. said you told one you'll knock them the fuck out. Yeah. Because she, she, she was threatening me, them. nigga. Oh, she was so oh, only me. defense fight. She's grilling me. Let's say she was acting like shit. Yeah. That, 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 that will not happen. No, I'm asking. You fighting back? Listen to the story. And she was acting like she had something. Oh, oh she was clutching. Yeah, like not, not on her person. She had like a bag on the bench. Caballero! She was going in there. I'm oh, she like, was gonna go, she was gonna blick you. That's why I, I just Damn, pressed it. You were about bitch. to get hit with the goddamn know. blicky. Nah, she you ain't even know. pull that shit out, nigga, because I yeah. had that goddamn. <laughs> Yo, what about the story? Goddamn blick. Tell them about the story when we was in Miami. Miami. When you and Mex went to the club. <laughs> <laughs> what well, with the drunk Chinese dude? No, when y'all went, to, you and Mex went to the club and I went to sleep. You guys oh, went to a gay club? So, went to party so look, we go yeah, to Miami. Nice. I'm, I'm booked by like monster. Oh Mom of the year. Mom of the year is understood. Yeah. 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 Happy Thanksgiving, <laughs> live action. Yeah. Mike my boy up, man. Get the him a The bird, man. Yo, where that chair? The bird, man. Right there, right there hey, yo. Snatch the chair, Snatch yo. Snatch the chair, look. Yo, Hugh, you, you. Pull up, you. It ain't Thanksgiving without live yo, action. Check. 
<laughs> yeah, Check. yeah. So look, so we in the um. Hold on, let my man get hold his, hold on, his let my man get right, situated, man. man. Up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's gonna, Thanksgiving, bro. How you working on Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving today? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Nah. Yeah, you don't yeah. celebrate holidays? <laughs> he goes, nah. nah. You serious? That's an American shit, right? Facts. That's pagan. Facts. That's you indigenous pagan. too? Huh? She's indigenous. You indigenous she too? Yeah, I got Indian in me. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, Taino. Oh. Give us a history lesson from the Taino Indians. There we go. Put us on. They got slaughtered. By who? Christopher <laughs> Columbus? The Europeans. But it wasn't Christopher Columbus, though? Yeah, he was down with it. Oh, he wasn't even mic'd up, man. Damn. They could still got the boom mic. Be yelling loud. I'm all equal. Just yet, tiralo ahí adentro. Yo, shout some. Now he's gonna be mad pigeons, bro. He fed his pigeons right there. They gotta eat, Pop. Everybody yeah, gotta yeah, eat, yeah. man. Everybody eats. You know what I mean? Everybody homeless and shit like that. Everybody shit is real eat. in the field. Yo, so I thought, because I seen that video with our man. What's his name? Anthony Ramos. Anthony Ramos. Shout oh out God. Anthony Ramos. He told me he's gonna come on the podcast. From Transformers. From Transformers, yeah. He got mad oh, at us. But he got the, the video that yeah, I right. followed him for, and I he's thought dope. it was mad popping. Oh, yeah. It's when he was that. dressed like Spike Lee, but a Puerto Rican Spike Lee yeah, in fact. Puerto Rico, yeah. talking about fuck Christopher Columbus. Yes, yes. And he That's was like, yo, he fire. came over here, he ain't find nothing. You know what I'm saying? But he said he discovered our island. You know, so what? What? Do you know about the history of the Taino? You can't discover something when somebody's already there. Facts. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? How you yeah. going to discover now? If it was nobody there and it was just dead land, then yeah, you probably f discovered a little island that was no no life on it. But if it's life on it, you can't discover something, mm -hmm. man. Facts. And that's, you know, that's common sense. That's plain and simple, he was, man. He was lost. Supposedly, he was lost. Mm -hmm. And they didn't they know how to survive. Him. They didn't know how to survive. And they taught them how to like they were eating like raw meat. They taught them how to, you got to cook it. They didn't that's even know about that. That's a real scumbag. Yeah, they were yeah, dying, super... and they saved them. He brought a bunch of diseases. Them back, nursed them back to health. They acted like they were leaving. They did, but they were just going to get their shit and come back and take over. Mm -hmm. That's a real piece of Dominican shit. Dominican Republic has a mausoleum for Christopher Columbus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. How did the pilgrims? Since for Thanksgiving, how does that? How was that story? What's the story of Thanksgiving? Pilgrims in the, where was that? Massachusetts or something? I don't Boston. Know. Really? They did I'm the not same mistaken. thing. It was Boston. They did the same thing? Yeah, they mm -hmm. taught them how to survive the winter. And then after the winter, they killed them. That's scumbags. Mm -hmm. Fact. They were barbarians. Scumbags. And look, they, and look they, they get praised, taught in schools. Yeah. Christopher Columbus, bro, up until it was just this generation mm -hmm. that really was like, man, fuck Christopher Columbus. Facts. Like, you know and you know saying? the Italians are like, no, he's a fucking... He's a saint. No <laughs> way. <laughs> Santo Cristobal, how could you? No, I get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck out of here. Imagine that first fucking Thanksgiving holiday, yo. All right, bro, we, we run up on a bunch of fucking little da dun da dun motherfuckers. Come on, make us some food, man. Yo, pilgrim. Yo, we the pilgrims. Yo, oh, yeah, make us some pilgrim. food, you little piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, what you got? Oh, you got turkey, you killed the turkey, you cooked it on the rotisserie? Nah, but it's deeper than that because they were coming on the boats and they didn't know. They thought they were coming from the heavens. Wow. The Indians, because they didn't know. They weren't really traveling like them. Not so really, they, saw, they wasn't. Nah, yeah, they so they knew. saw, they, they were traveling they knew, fishing man. and they shit knew? like that. Yeah, they knew, man, because nah, they- Nah, they thought, they knew once they saw like they, how they were, like, oh, they- Just like when they, they say, oh, they brung, they like, they, just like when they say they brung slaves over here, they probably did. But there was already Moors here in America. Mm -hmm. They they was in America. The, the Moors was already here. They civilized Europe. Who's the Moors? They African Americans. Yeah. They from Africa. They're not Americans. They Africans. I mean, they Africans. Africans. They from Africa. Correct. But they 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 been all around the world. The Moors been here first. Mm -hmm. They had they had a uh, uh, African uh, uh, like Indian tribes. They just don't teach you none of that. Yeah. They're not going to teach you none of that. They want you to know their story. Yeah, because they say all, all the, all history the... is written by the winners. Yeah. Whoever wins the war writes the history and from their vantage point. All right, that's their narrative. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Same yeah, with the fucking though. pilgrims. Yo, we had the first, we came to peace and we ate together. Mm -hmm. Nah, bro. What if that's, that's a lie? It probably is. It is, it is a lie. lie. It's a lie. Where's well, busy definitely... when you need them? Yo, busy. Yo, listen, all holidays on and all holidays in America are based on uh, uh, money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
all of it Yo. is based on money. If you look up St. Patrick, if you do the research on him, do you, you know the, like what? Like Valentine's Russia Day. Do you know the story of Santa Claus? Russia sent them. Chris Kringle? Nah, St. Nicholas, right? What is it? He's right, just so, a person that gave gifts to people, but not in right. exchange. But that's not Santa Claus. Santa Claus is literally built by Coca-Cola. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about that. Yeah, that's, yeah, to make money. Yeah, yeah. It's all about money, mm -hmm. man. Propaganda. That's all I said. They, be give, they be giving all of them little shits on Instagram. Like, I don't be... You know, I noticed, too, a lot of people, I used to think they was funny or, like, smart, but I didn't have IG. You know what I'm saying? And they just be saying shit from Instagram. Yeah. And now I'm peeping it. Like, niggas be telling me... Like, I'm like, knowledgeable. Oh, like, you're not even funny all this time. You just was repeating not even smart. Ah. Yeah, you repeat, mm -hmm. repeating that's what you word. scrolling, they my nigga. Like, you stupid fuck. Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's why like it's that. dangerous. It's dangerous Fact. because Yo, people could be saying anything and spreading I've it. This I seen on IG, but it was a study was done. I forget by who or by NASA. By NASA. They was doing like a, ch a children's um, like study on kids. So they learned kids up to like two or three years old, like 90% of them. Boys, you mean? Would, every, all kids, children, had the IQ to become geniuses. Oh, yeah. Untapped right? potential. Same thing. And then mm -hmm. they, they, they did another study years later, 10 years later. To dumb them down. He says, the kids that went to school were idiots like, like 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 they did a test like they were not smart anymore the kids that was that that were homeschooled and didn't go to were still on the genius level that's that's teaching you right there Look, that fucking I can that, give you that a schools are you dumbing nonsense. you fucking down i can give you a personal experience of that my kids are twins i got twin boys and they they're with each other all day they're with me and their mother all day we're teaching them everything in the house. They're speaking to each other, building shit. They're with me doing everything that I do, right? So when they went to, to their doctor, when they turned three, to get a checkup, make sure everything was all good, whatever, he asked if we were gonna bring them to 3K. I'm like, to be honest with you, I think 3K is a little young. 3K? Not pre-K. 3K? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That didn't even exist when we were, facts. When we were out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. So the doctor told me, and my girl, like, I wouldn't put them in that if I was you. Sorry. He was like, I wouldn't put them in that if I was you. They're really, like, really advanced and really developed, right? And he said that he's seen kids that went into 3K that went in speaking two languages, bilingual, like, super advanced, just like how my kids are, are projecting right now. And then he's seen them go to 3K, come out of that, and be, like, baby talking and crawling. I was like, fuck that. Facts. Yeah, so we, we're teaching them that's, in the house yo, right now. that's scary. Yeah. But that's you got to look scary. at who started the school system. 3K, bro? Mm -hmm. yo, I bet nobody kids, know who started kids. the school system. Who started the school system? The Rockefeller. Mm. Rockefeller started the school yeah. system. And the first teacher he, he sure. if I'm not mistaken, that he hired was a doctor or a scientist. And he said, I want to, I want you to create a school system where like I, programming. Want, I want everybody to be workers. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't want no moguls. That's why they don't teach you mm -hmm. finance or nothing like that in they school. They don't teach you shit in school. They, really they don't no teach more. you how to get money. You got to know how to learn and go and get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, facts. Because they don't teach you that. Yeah. They want everybody to be workers because Sheep. Sheep. they could, they run everything. They. Fact. Hold the, yeah. the, the, the monopoly on the top of the food chain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's how they want it. We want everybody to be trained to be a worker. That's why when you go to school, they want you to go to college. You remember back yeah. in the days, you could take a work trade. Yeah. For like three or six months and be a plumber or welder. Yeah, fact. They said, nah, nah, we ain't making no money there. We, we need people to go to school for four years. Yeah. Pay all and this money. put them in debt. Mm hmm because you put your kids in debt when you send them to college, especially if they major in something that they wind up not liking. Correct. And they said that in the 60s, Kennedy and them, they had a- uh, See, but when the, you talk, great, hold you on can't one second, talk about Uber. shit like this, homie. Hold on, Hubert. And then um, they had like a, the health initiative, physical education. I know you remember seeing shit from school back in the days. Oh, it was yeah, bro. We had the gym to class and everything shit. was way harder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But in the, six, in the 60s and the 50s, it, it was, was harder. It was, it was military. Even, crazy. It was more. Yeah, fact. But then they noticed that in shape people, you can't control them. 
They're going to ask Healthy, questions. strong. And be like, what the can't. fuck is going on? But what they did was feed you like the fat shit McDonald's. And, mm. and look, the shit worked. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, it liberal. works for those who, who work. Up, Yo, liberal, how was Thanksgiving started? How was Thanksgiving started? Yeah, you Correct. know about that? Um, I would like to. Matt's a teacher. Don't I know that, that like some white people came with some blankets, killed a bunch of brown people, and was like, this is our shit now. See, that's, that's the, the liberal, liberal. That's the liberal narrative. That was terrible. That's not the liberal. That's what happened. Am no. I wrong? Yes. Our, our, our in house conspiracy theorists? Not, not in-house. It wasn't only, it was, they got slaughtered right near the river. After they was taught what they was, they needed to learn. What they needed they to know. They got the game and slit their throat. Yeah, they they, they slaughtered. They survived them. the winter. They but they not them. the only ones. Thanksgiving. Well, what they, they did, another thing they did too. They used to kill the the chief of the tribe, and then all the other all the you know they knocked the head off. Everybody else would fall in line underneath. Yeah, nah, the Indians they couldn't do that with the Indians because they taught them how to ambush. Their style of fighting was nah, different they than all the of Europeans. Them. They slaughtered you all understand? of them. When you yeah. got guns, guns is gonna right. be arrows. They were fighting different. Our people's right there. Slaughtered us. <laughs> Our people right there. Yeah, a joke went over everybody's <laughs> yeah. head. Oh, wow. yeah. oh, for one. <laughs> We're going to talk about this. Thanksgiving. This is the Thanksgiving episode. Correct. Have y'all ever brought or have seen a thotty in your family bring home somebody to thank or bring somebody to Thanksgiving? Ooh, and family? you're like, oh, this, this ain't gonna last. Or have you ever <laughs> been brought to somebody's Thanksgiving like, oh, this is mad awkward. I know I'm not gonna fuck with this broad or something like this. That's like a line you don't, I, I, that's tough to go to somebody nah. crib on Thanksgiving. It's like, <laughs> you won't really do that unless like. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna I'm start mine. Two, All right, there's two stories, All right. there's two stories. All right. One is, <laughs> I got married to a Russian. What? What? For her papers. papers. I knew it. What's Statue of limitations is up. Yo, how she much? Paid way 10 up. Or 20. How much? How much? That's uh, how you got the Cuban? Five. Nah, this is when I was. <laughs> That's how we got the podcast. <laughs> this is this, this is, this is, is when I, I this, is, this is how you got the this truck. This is before the I had truck? any car. I was. This is when I was fucked up. Five racks. So that's twenty racks. I met her on July third. Married her on July 5th. Oh, wow. The only reason yeah. I didn't marry her on the 4th Fireworks. is because it was, because it was, it was closed. closed. It was closed. <laughs> it was closed. July Independence so, Day, baby. what happened was, I six. just had come home. This is 07, 2007. I came home January 25th, 2007. <laughs> I was good till like March with not getting high. Then I started getting high again, fucking up. So I was running the streets, homeless, fucked up. Yo, Nim, you want to get married? Yeah, hell yeah. How much? Twenty five hundred. Damn, they jerked. Twenty five. No, no. Yeah, you Twenty five hundred. When I got Eyes married, kite. Twenty five hundred. When I coming. went to immigration, so that was five thousand total. But I was getting high, so I was. I got my chick for over twenty racks, just leeching, leeching. Stolen. Like, yo, listen. Stolen oh, you want me to change my license or my address? Say we live together. Yo, I owe mad tickets. You gotta give me a. Two thousand oh, dollars. Want me to change my phone number so oh. we both under your account? Yo, I, I owe like four thousand dollars. Huh. Then it would just come to the point where like, yo, it's give me a thousand dollars. No, I paid. Listen, bitch. I'm sleeping, in the, <laughs> I'm sleeping in these motherfucking streets. I'll tell. Bitch, you my wife, I'll bitch. Tell, I'll tell on <laughs> us. You my wife. I'll go to jail, get three meals a day, and what? a place to sleep. You better Damn. give me that fucking money. This is the American way, bro. So she yo, give you me the a money. fucking living legend, yo, bro. That's like Christopher Columbus. As, yeah, yo, you as soon as you was here, you were coming out. More important. More important. Did you beat? Yo, little Christopher no, Columbus. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It was all business. I kept it business. When I kissed her, when I kissed her on um the at City Hall, bro, yeah. breath stunk. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. You tongue her? Nah, I didn't tongue her. How did you do it? I didn't tongue her. I didn't tongue her. But she hated me so much. As soon as four years passed or five, she, she gave like, up. I'm getting divorced. She did it like Janet Jackson. So, but when we got divorced, I was already clean. We got divorced Valentine's Day. Damn. 2012. Oh, shit. I that shit is open on Maybe Valentine's Day, but not on the 4th Because Valentine's July, right? Day is not a fucking Official, national yeah, holiday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, the she hated love. me. Right? Hey, Bobby. Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> So, speaking of this, so what happened is... Divorce you? No. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving of 07. Yo. No way. I got married in July. <laughs> She's like, yo. I got married in July. We got to take pictures. pictures. Oh, my God. 
with your family so when we go to immigration we can show I went to her mother's house. Her, I it, was at, it was at her mother's house Thanksgiving. Where you live yeah. at? Staten Island. Island. I know they hated you. Yeah, I was getting high. I was all fucked up. <laughs> I said, yeah, come. Bro, she came. This is my grandmother was alive. Rest in peace, Dini Abuela. Loved it. Yo, it was... Bro, we took, <laughs> she took pictures with the whole family, bro. Me, my Your grandmother, me, my whole mother. I, right before she came, I told the whole family, yo, listen, I got married. For the papers. <laughs> She's coming, we gotta take pictures. The whole family whole family's criminals. They just laughed it off. Like yeah. it was a big joke. It's hilarious. We took mad pictures. Now his wife is coming. Whatever. But this is like really <laughs> yeah, this is before they was mad nice to a fed up, you know. All the loving family. Yeah, but, but Ivory yeah. was also there. <laughs> Ivory was there with my Uncle Tito. Yo! No. That's what my Uncle Tito wife Ivory yeah. brought That's it to Thanksgiving. Yeah. Tito first time came to me in the house. Yeah, that was his girl. Yeah, yeah. Ivory. Ivory. Ivory, the Ivory that we see now is different. The I'm saying was she fiend out then? Nah, yes. she was yeah. worse. Yeah. She was yes. worse. It was wow. hilarious. So imagine, my uncle got Ivory at Thanksgiving dinner. I'm bringing a fucking Russian wife. You know what I'm saying? We got all types of craziness going on, bro. Yeah. And this is before, like, really, cell phones was out, but it wasn't like, it was, like, it was clear, flip like shit. Clear video. So we had to take real pictures. Chick, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Chick, and develop, develop the film. Shit. Yo, hilarious. <laughs> so that's my thing. The next month, we went to immigration, showed them the pictures, all of that. I had to learn everything about her. So they asked me, the, the guy interviewing us, all right, what's her daughter's name? Or what, what does she do? Da, da. Has she ever been married? I was like, yeah. It was like, no, she hasn't. I was like, fuck. I just flipped it. I said, yeah, but she was with that motherfucker for years. And when I see him, I'm going to fuck with him. Get upset. Get upset. Calm set. down, sir. Get calm down. Set. All right, you guys are good. Go ahead. Yeah. Yes, yo, yo. Yeah. Divergent. Bing bong. Damn. Facts. And Love for and marriage. For, for, for another 25 on what? Yo, what? you sick motherfucker. <laughs> what? Yo, what? Him say, yo, him saying, I'll fucking tell on us right now. <laughs> I don't go to jail. I don't care if I go to jail. I don't care if I go to jail. Three meals a day. Blackmail. Sleep in the streets, <laughs> bitch. Yo, yo your wife right blackmail. Years later, when I'm doing my credit report, I got credit karma. I look, I'm like, how the, who the fuck is this? Well, what is this name? How, how do I got a fucking TD bank fucking credit card open? Yeah. I go to the bank. They was like, yeah, it's, it's your wife. Blank, blank. It's your wife. It's your wife. <laughs> that bitch kept my last name. She still got it to this day. Oh. No. <laughs> so you still got a wife out there. No. That's hard. Yo, I hope she's yo, yo, you might not be yo. divorced on the low. Nah, I'm divorced. Yo. I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck your wife. Said, no, I yeah, fuck your wife. <laughs> Scummy. Scummy. Yeah, fuck your wife. Wow. <laughs> and she got the ill name. Beat that fucking story. Yeah. 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 I don't got stories. Crazy. Yeah. crazy. Oh, man, Lord, Anthony's gonna make the ill cartoon of that Yo, right there. Yeah. Yo, so that's one Thanksgiving story. Another Thanksgiving, I don't know if it's Thanksgiving or Christmas, but it was one of the those two holidays last year. My cousin <laughs> blanked the name out. Beep. Right? She comes, you know, nothing against her. I love her. It's my cousin. She has a lot of kids, a lot of all different fathers. Uh, always got a different guy with her, rolling around with her. No judgment. We love her. She comes to Thanksgiving or whatever it was at my Uncle Cootie's house. Bro, she is never, she's fully dressed, like nicely. Mm -hmm. Comes to, excuse me, family. Never is like this. She's the one like, yeah, you got weed, let's just make, like the little hook booger. Excuse me, family. I want to introduce you. This is my honey. Da, da, da. Oh, everybody looking like, oh, just don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Mm -hmm. We all like, we being nice to him. You know what I'm saying? Deepo. But in the back of my mind, all of us is like, yeah. You're getting this. <laughs> wife and you wife and this? You come to Thanksgiving with this? That's fucked up. What? It's all a facade. What? What? <laughs> Could you help me out? Could you smoke bless smoke me? Wife-wise. Can you let me have wife wise <laughs> Can you bless me with something? Oh, gosh. Money-wise. Yo, <laughs> my God. I to say, yo, buddy. Get yeah. the fuck out of here as soon as wow. you close. Yeah, oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Run. And Don't he's over back. there being nice. I'm like, bro, 
I, I was, I've been in this situation before. You just meet the family. You got to be nice. Hey, man. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, you do that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> nice. Hey, all right. Yeah. In construction, huh? <laughs> you have to read. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking to him. I'm thinking in his, like, if I was him, could he read the vibe? <laughs> the energy, the energy. Because <laughs> I'm good at reading people and picking up vibes. Nah, if me I'm too, there me too. and I'm wife and... You go meet the family, you're going to learn if she's a fucking Gunther or not. You know what I'm saying? Just by how they're looking at you. Just by the way they look, just by the fucking interaction she's having. Facts. Or how they treat the kids. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. The kids is wild. You, you like, man, yo, get man, get the fuck out of here. Yo, get, get the, the fuck out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how you know, Absolutely. Too. Put him in a bear troop. Yeah, yeah facts. Show him in a bear troop. So none of y'all got no fucking things you never went? I got, but you were talking about bringing, bringing thotties, so... I've spent maybe my last two or three Thanksgiving bringing whoever I'm dating. Yeah, that's a fact. Chrissy be having mad thighs. She brings a, she brings a different thotty to all different events. Thotty to be the party. Regular regular day. Day, pool party. Yo, it could be day. fucking. Clap it up for that. Clap it up. Clap it up. Clap it up. What the fuck we doing out here? body, so, body. It's funny that Chrissy brings, it, brings hers, and the rest of my thirsty cousins is like, who the fuck is that? How <laughs> the fuck? Uh, and try to <laughs> holler at her like. Like who? Like who? Tatito. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know him. Oh, that nigga's hollering at yeah, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Old ladies, everything. He be like, she yo, how she got a pose? Yeah. How young is she? 17? Five. Five. All right, it's good. <laughs> it take them 17 to 80. So, so I, I bring this chick, I think it was the last Thanksgiving, because last year I wasn't with y'all, but the year before that, I brought this girl, right? And she comes and she's like, oh, this is like when Bing Bong was just popping up. And I think you know what I'm about to say. Oh, so she I comes, do remember. I, at Borgas house. Yeah, Borgas <laughs> house. So she comes, right? I'm just like, you know, introducing her family. She was like, right. Yeah, of she course. She had mad flash surgery. She had, you know, a little lips going yeah, yeah, on. Yeah. Lots of lips going on. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, um, I introduced her to Nams and stuff like that. So she's talking to the family. I'm with my family, you know. Just, you know, talking shit. And then I see her going, and she's just spending a lot of time with Nems. And I'm like, okay, she's starstruck, whatever. I'm like, yeah, that's my cousin. She's like, oh. Then I see her, and she's just like, oh, yeah, like, if you're ever, like, outside, like, you know, like, literally just bagging Nems with my cousin in front of me. Just like, oh, like, like, no, he's never going to hit you up and be like, hey, are you outside? Like, when when are you ever going to figure out a situation where you need to be around her. Yeah, facts. It was yeah. just so fucking awkward, and I, I did her after that, I never spoke to her again. Damn. Cause that shit's crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Bagging, still follow me, cause I remember she followed she me She absolutely still bro. follows you. She's probably she watching this right now. Fuck your life. Oh, <laughs> She got scum. Yeah, and I'm over here. Fuck out of here. And I'm over here just trying to like, just be <laughs> no, totally cordial. Trying be to be not, cool. Like, yeah. yo, I'm on my best behavior. One, I know that's my cousin's shit. I don't play that. Yeah, you know course. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And also, it's not that type of party. We had Thanksgiving with family. Like, yeah, it's yeah. not that type of time. Like, so I'm, I'm, I'm just like, like going maybe, with maybe it. When and she's ever... doing it right in front of her. So yeah. I'm like, it's, it's weird. maybe it's just on some friendly shit. Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But she's doing it right in front of her. So I'm like, yeah, it might, not, it might just be like, it's weird. Literally, what do you do like, if your oh, boy's girl does that? Hit me up. Like, why? Yeah. <laughs> what? What do you do if your boy's girl does that, but not in front of him? Nah, you tell nah, your man. I crazy. tell him. Yeah. Tell your man. Oh, I got a story. I saw. A, thank you. I saw. A nah, something. she could go. She could go. Nah, go ahead. Go ahead. You go. You go. Nah, don't worry about it, mommy. You good? Damn. So good. So good. Pause. What? Oh my! I forgot. Uh. I was young, this is a young story. And I saw, I don't do this no more, I saw my boy's girl get in a car with another dude and drive off. So I called him and told him, you know what I'm saying? That's something I felt like as a friend, I needed to address. And uh, It was his girlfriend or his wife or they were just <laughs> nah, dating? No, we were young, it was his girlfriend. his girlfriend. It wasn't like wife age, we were young. And uh, my wife at the time was my girl, called me immediately, he told him immediately. I was like, damn, bro, I didn't even, we didn't even have, like, it was like a house phone. I was like, damn, wow, like, he told is crazy. immediately. I'm like, damn, bro, that's Oh, crazy. he told her that you told? Facts. Oh, he told well, like, you. It snitched on me, and I got in trouble. Oh, like, he said, pause, told like, me? Like, why are you worried about what the fuck my oh, your friend wife doing? Called you, your girl that, called you, why are you worried about my, my, oh, all right. Right, so I was like, what are you talking about? Oh, you just called such and such. And say you saw a homegirl get in the car. Why the fuck you care with my friend? Cause I would want her, I would want him to do the same right. if he seen you. But I ain't say, I ain't say that. I just said I should have mind my business. I, I should have mind my business. Dead ass. That's exactly. And ever since then, I just nah, son. 
you gotta have values and morals. Yeah, you gotta man. stand on that. Those, yeah. are, your, those are your values okay. and morals. Yeah, yeah, but I just don't. You, you want that, you want that same respect? Nah, that was wrong with him. I, Listen, I talked to him about I seen, that after. I, I told him after, six like, that was girl, some sucker shit. Trying to give somebody a number, I'm telling six. If I see Paz's wife yeah, trying facts. to give somebody a number, I would, of I would tell him off without a Without thought. even thinking about it. Facts. If somebody yeah. that I'm acquainted with, they girl tries to give me the number, that's a sticky situation. Someone you're acquainted with? Okay. No, no, right. no. Even a friend. That's a sticky situation because now, homie might, because I've been in a situation where my man's wife, the Gunther that everybody just finished piping, running trains on. One one of them falls in love. Facts. Right, so mm. like, bro, Facts. You know we all smash. And then he vilifies all y'all and stops talking to y'all. Facts. Damn. That's because he wants to stay with you. That's not one That's story. That's happened several times. Yeah. Bad times are not. Facts. Don't get pussy that on, on that basis. That, Where that they frequent. find one, yeah. they're like, oh, I'm staying with her. You know what I'm saying? She did some shit that never been done to me. I love her. Fuck everybody. It's me and her versus the yeah, world. I saw yeah. an old G dude. He was dancing and tonguing up on a, 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 like a bitch that's a hoe from the hood. I ain't even know son. And I told him, like, yo, be careful. She a hoe. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. And you know what he said? He said, pussy new to me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, touche, Mr. Pussy, pussy like you, pussy. Touche, Michelle Pussycat. <laughs> so, so, so then, being friends, how long after a breakup would you holler? I, uh, uh, not your man's. A man's is off limits. That's you know not true. Nems wanted to hit opinion. one of my exes. In my, huh? I said that's not true. Nems wanted to hit one of my exes. Did I holler at him? did it. <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay. I right, so what, made you, what made you think that he wanted to? He told me. Exactly. Oh, all right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I wasn't like, like uncovering closed. something. I was saying he yeah, told me. That. Case closed. Yeah, yeah. You told to this girl? Nah, not really. Oh, right. I want to smash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But not saying I really would. Facts. You know, but he's, listen, in his case, he's married with children now. If that ex from over 10 years ago came to me and said, yo, and I was single and said, yo, Nems, I want to fuck. I don't know. I nah, might call him first. I nah. might call him first. Like, yo, you still got feelings for this bro, man? Cause I'm trying to pipe, not serious. It, I think yo, it's it like, more weird to tell. Like, yo, it's mad long ago. Like, you're married. So that wouldn't bother you? No. Not exactly. Nah. Nah. I mean, at the same time, I feel like there's male, the female. There's male, the there's pussy so many you can get. So, so much other so some, some There's men, male, the like, pussy you can get. Some like, men are I wouldn't like do it. I there's a lot of men that don't get pussy on the regular that they need that familiarity Familiarity. So I feel I like like Popeye. Familiar. Familiar. If you don't know Popeyes, go watch our Patreon. We just had a half hour long Patreon with a guy that can't speak English. <laughs> go watch that. As his go first watch. language. Nah, he, he speaks English. Before yeah. deep. So, you know, some guys need that familiarity. 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 Yeah. So, to be like, yo, I've been around home, I've been around Shorty a couple times at house parties with my man's, my man's not yeah, winning yeah, no yeah, more. Fast, so, fast. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, <coughs> that's know. corny to me. I wouldn't do that. That's corny. What about an acquaintance? Nah, she's a lifesaver. She's EMS. Let her through. Words ball. EMC. Save me, girl. <laughs> mm -mm. All right. I'm about to catch up. What up, bro? <laughs> yeah. Yo, you said an acquaintance, like somebody you just an know that. An acquaintance, that's... not a friend. I don't think it should matter. I mean, you got loyalty to an acquaintance. Like somebody like Puffin, like Harrison. Nah. <laughs> you taking it down? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, we don't got no. I don't have. Rapport. I don't even have his phone number. Mm-hmm. I don't have no loyalty. I don't have no loyalty. Boys, I don't have loyalty no hell no. What? That's one thing what I is do it? not do. Do you follow your your boys, girls? Like, nah. I don't follow Six's girl. I don't nah. follow Paz's wife. I don't know. Yo, I don't know. Like a, First of all, I don't know Six girl. I met Paz, her. I met her. We met Paz. her and we know her because she yeah. comments on everything. I know, but yeah. Paz, yeah. Paz, yeah. Paz yeah. Nice. She's, shout out but not in Six's a bad girl way. because she supports. She supports. Yeah. She supports us, and I Yo, respect that. Thank you. But, but, Thanks for but being Paz's good, wife, I I knew her before. I knew us. We grew up together. We from the same projects, yeah, and I follow Paz, and she follow me, and I follow her. And yeah, that's like different. I'm following her. Nah, that's my brother, though. That, that's a different. That's I, not, I, yeah, I, you I, I know her for since yeah. she was. Facts. Like, I, don't care about, I don't care about shit like that anyway. Like, mm -mm. It's different. It's levels. And plus me, I got. I don't know, man. My values you know and morals. Saying? Everybody's I mean, values and morals is different. Fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's respect. Everybody's loyalty. Everybody's. 
you know, is, is different, man. No, I feel Chrissy, like this. Chrissy is taking your ex down. Anybody's ex. Chrissy is taking them down. Yeah, if but I, if you I know want it's to. different. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> if I want to. <laughs> See, I don't even have to be your ex. Not me. I don't <laughs> know. Take your girl down. Take your I don't girl know. down. Les lesbians move different like that? Like, y'all just. Yeah, is there a code there's, of there's conduct no for lesbians? No, no, no. no that's a code of conduct. Is like a lesbian? He's saying that I can. Like, I have the ability. No, we can too. We have the ability to. Yeah, we have the ability to. No, I'm just like, we have the No, no, I know. But is there a code of conduct? Yeah, is there like a. Well, yeah, lesbians or just me as a but human. But it depends, though, no, because, no, you know, I every female I mean, ain't a lesbian. But it, 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 but it goes from, you know what I mean? From and a lesbian. They like it. Yeah, because you saying she... If, if, Nigga, if, you a lesbian? No, I'm saying you <laughs> saying <laughs> that she <laughs> can... Answer it. Like, listen, like whole boy, he just speak. said that she could bag niggas, girls, and wives. That's what he just said. Women are, you know, they're emotional. They, they, they operate on a different software than men. You understand? Mm -hmm. Disrespect between men usually ends in violence. Yeah. So that's why we don't cross those lines because mm. crossing those lines ends in violence. Yeah. That's that's just how that goes. You know nah, but today today's society. So how does it go? For, okay, so for, for me uh, personally, I don't I don't move funny like that. But I have noticed in like lesbian culture, like they they don't give a fuck. I mean, lesbians in, in general, when two women are dating, like on the second date, they're moved in with each other by then. It's really? just like yeah, that's that's a, that's Serious? a fact. Yeah, yeah. That's that's an old joke. Like, what do lesbians bring on a first date? A U-Haul. So yeah, oh, that's crazy. It literally is. I mean, I'm a victim of it. I don't do that shit anymore. But it what depends. It de <laughs> explain, explain it more. Like no, if I was in the third grade. If you were in third grade, yeah, like you, you're, you're like a that. girl and I'm a girl, right. and we go on a date. Right. Like that date can last like a week and a half. We'll spend every single day together because. You know, it's just two women that... Emotionally bonding. Exactly, yeah. Or it's just, you know, that... Emotionally bonding is over scissoring. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> chafing. Bonding chafing. together. <laughs> chafing <emotionally>. now. <laughs> yeah, like he said. Our chafing. souls are connected it's now. It's like the Avatar oh, with the ponytail oh, and yeah. <laughs> the dragon. <laughs> so busy. You sounds like the Avatar with like the ponytail. Uh -huh. I like that. <laughs> I like that. That's how we... Caddy too. Hove. Yeah, but I don't... Sorry. Blue Ivy. Yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I don't move like that, but I've seen I've seen women like go after. Right. I've had I've had like relationships where I've had friends or acquaintances go right after the girl that I was with as soon as, and then th they hooked up like right after. Do you catch it's feelings for that? Uh, Towards the friend. What do you mean? Like, like yo, this scumbag. Fuck that. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm that human, man. It doesn't matter, yeah. That they it did sucks. That. Yeah, it sucks. It hurts. But oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm, that's, I'm, that's why so, they got so that saying, the man. The same goes. The same don't do to others yeah. what you wouldn't yeah. want done yeah, to you. That's a fact. fact. Yeah. It doesn't you matter. Know? Like, date, like, dating women isn't. I don't do it because I can't, like, you know, it's easier or better to date a woman. I date women because I love women. Right. You know? So it's not like that's it's an easier, it's not an easier relationship. Sometimes it's harder. Like, sometimes I'm like, fuck it, I'm about to date a man. There's no offense. So it's much more simple and easy versus women, you know, we're complicated. How is dating men? How are we simple and easy? Why do you say that? Because y'all are chill. Like, y'all ain't. But nah, you know, it's like. We're crazy. Women, we're, we're, we're a little nuts sometimes, you know. I'm glad you admitted that on camera. Yeah. No, no that's not what you were going to say. You dumbed it down. No. I wanted you to say what the fuck you really was going to say. <laughs> Nigga, you simple as fuck. Yeah, yeah say it. That's no. shit. Fuck. No, you guys, they like, just you know. Not you know how you guys don't trust her. You know what? She knows she's a woman. She already, but her mind is more advanced than a lot of other females. She's you in her mind that's why you saying yo tell it tell it but it's just common sense they got something that they possess that could make a motherfucker kill himself 25 to life mm. yeah. Yeah. because 98 percent of motherfuckers is in prison over women that's a fact you shoot a nigga up because he was fucking your girl or he hit your sister or a nigga disrespected your moms that's how that shit you a nigga kills his wife because anything you, you yeah, guys turn right. to violence uh, women we turn to like petty shit no that's know? just Not how we, no, that, that's we just can how be real petty they, tur they yeah. turn to sympathy look they that's look how men are programmed like, mm. like we fuck they want we you hunt, to feel sorry yeah, for yeah. that shit we yeah. teach yeah. we create like that's mm -hmm. just part of being a man you know what i'm saying Yo, let me ask you a question. Like, when you're dating a when you're dating a woman, do you still feel like a level of protection as opposed to like dating a man, knowing that like, if you're walking down the block with your guy, somebody says something, you already know the guy's gonna. Pop. Like, do I am like, I overprotective? No, no. Or? Like a level of protection while dating. Oh, a woman. I know what like, you mean. Um, I I for some for me I, when I'm dating women, like I I usually have a little bit more of a of a like a masculine energy like an alpha energy so i feel like i'm more of the person to make sure that my Check girl shit. feels more protected 
You know, oh, for me, I feel up. like I'll protect myself. I'll do. <laughs> so you so you're the man? No, there's no man. I'm still a girl. It's about the energy, though. Masculine energy it doesn't mean how you know. Do you, you see two women, you don't go. Right, that's right, the man. How, that's, how do you get masculine, masculine energy? energy? Yeah, how masculine you that? energy to protect the, the woman, machismo. to give them, the, the to provide, the to provide. I would say. You know what masculine energy is? Tell me. Like discipline. Mm -hmm. Like people think violence is masculine energy. No, I don't think that. But hold on. People, you would assume like, yeah, you see, yo, yo, yeah. no, 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 right, look, right, you guys you, got that? you would assume, you would assume like somebody who's aggressive and wants to pop, mm. that's masculine energy. That's not masculine. That's energy. child energy. That's no, feminine yeah. energy. Right. A yeah. masculine, like masculine energy, what that looks like in society it's confident is in peace. men being married, having children, mm. having careers, stability, job, blah, blah, blah. That's masculine energy. Feminine mm. energy is Let's just all free fall, fuck around, menage a trois, cheese, blah, blah, blah. That's the women and that watch this shit are still sick. I know. Yeah. I, don't, I don't agree though. with anything that you're saying, uh, but uh, I see well, your uh, point. I'm, it's fine. You, you say you don't say. agree with what I'm saying? <laughs> hold so on, then hold disagree. On. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I did. I disagree. No, but yeah, then tell I, me I just want to say that what he's saying, I don't know what the fuck this nigga's talking about. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm not. I'm not agreeing with. That's his view. Nah, but look, What's there's your old view, school role, There's old school morals and old school principles. Mm -hmm. How I like to live my life, and that's this, these are my preferences. I that's don't care what I'm about saying. nobody else that's in the view. world. That's yeah, how that's I choose right. a woman. How I why, choose wait, a woman. Why is everybody backing out my view? a woman to be submissive. Let me handle the finances. Let me go out, make the money, See, the everything. Submissive part and the is woman, like the, 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 and the woman that the I want, I want her to take care. Of the house, have mm. the children. I want the old school morals and principles and values. I'll, I'll, I'll get it, homie. I'll protect. I'll I'll get the money. Yeah, get you don't gotta do nothing. Facts. I'll pay for everything. In China, you need so money. Thailand. You handle that. So that's just how I well, choose to look for a woman that yeah, I would but want. Still more See, Everybody now, else is different. Right, right, my, how, my my situation. That would look at right now. People would be like, oh no, that's this oh, and that. Yeah, and right. That's how I that's choose not to like live. That. Hi, mommy. God bless all of you. God bless you too. God bless you too. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, mommy. Get Grab some fries. And uh, my wife works hard. You know what I'm saying? It's not that I cannot provide. I I can and I will and I have. But she wants to work. Like I'm not gonna be like, no, I'm the. You want to work? Go to work. Shout to all my boss bitches, wife and. <laughs> nah, look, look. Nah, she can wants I say to. My wife's an uh, educator. She's been working for a long time already. I'm not gonna stop her, like clip her wings. Like you wanna go do what you mm -hmm. wanna do, go do that. Mm -hmm. What can the I fuck I'm gonna get mad for? You making extra bread? Yeah, yeah. Pause, clap okay. it up for that. Yeah, clap yeah, it yeah, up for that. Listen. Just Thank don't take it out look, on me. Look at what look at what Nem said. Yeah. Look at what Pa said. That's what you're supposed to end it off with. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. you wanna work and you wanna do all of that, it's yeah. all cool. But don't take it out on me. Yeah, no, but look no, at what that's situation. true too, though, because. Yeah, it's because not, it's a not female like, come in from work and see you sitting on the sofa watching uh, uh, anything, they're going to be like, mm -hmm. they're going to feel a certain way. Yeah. Look, no, in a situation, look, look, that's look. Not true. In a situation like my this, My wife right? never said nothing to me because I always in my bag. You know what I'm saying? She don't have to work. She I wants to work. I know I'm not saying work. you, but I'm just saying, if my wife came camera. home, our arguments are because of me sitting there because I provide. You understand? Our arguments are because, like, I'm drinking and doing something in the street. Doing shit I'm not supposed to do. Your behavior. Behavior, yeah, behavioral issues. That's, that's that's been my shit since I'm a kid. Behavioral issues. Yeah. You right, need boom. masculine. Look, you before need masculine before it energy. gets too dark, we yeah. can't talk about shit anymore. Mm -hmm. Tell that story about Miami, bro. What happened in Miami? So, so what bro. happened in Miami? We go to Miami. I gotta do some shit for Miami. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nigga, that's why you tell just a fucking I'm a, show. I'ma tell Paz. I'ma let Paz tell it from where my story ends. We go to Miami. Me, Paz, and Mex. I gotta do some shit for Monster. Shout out we, did, we get there on a Friday, we're leaving Sunday. Friday we get there. I'm like, yo, man, the fuck is he talking about? Like, yeah. 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 They got it, they got food out right now. Secret agent is shit. Yeah, yeah. The Russian spot. Secret agent. So I go, I go to sleep. I'm like, yo, I gotta take a nap, bro. 10:30 comes, my alarm comes on, I hit them, yo. We go in the night. They're like, we'll call you back. I go back to sleep. They leave me. Him and Max go to the club, Scram Jones is DJing at Club Racket. Now start. What happens? All right, that's not how I went at all. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> all right. Start it over. All right, we want to go out. We got to set up with Scram Jones. We're going to a club in Miami or whatever. We call him, he's knocked out. Give me till 12. Call me back. Call him back, nothing. 
Mech's like, fuck that, let's go. Boom, we go, they send us a fucking, like a town, like a suburban. So we in that shit on the way. And they keep calling, like, where are you, where are you? He's like, yo, what's going on? Max, he's in the, he's in the back of the car. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. I said, they probably think you Nims, bro. They think he in here. <laughs> he's like, nah, so the traffic is crazy. They calling, guys in the front, I see him. In the front of the club, we pull up. They get us in like he's Nims, like he's fucking. <laughs> yeah. And we go in, it's, like, it's packed. There's Max, me and Max. It's packed in the front. We go in through like a side door. <laughs> Like good fellas, we went in that way <laughs> through the kitchen and shit, and Her end up coach. right in VIP. Everybody's like, ah, it's me and Max. You know, Max's a big boy. They got the shit with the bottle. Yeah, Nims, bro. One of the he bottle girls body peeped double. it. So we sitting in VIP. We we get all the way in there. We chilling. They take the bottle from him. Yo, give me the shit. Max is like, yeah, yeah. You know, he stood a little bit. Yeah, yeah, what's up with the bottle? Scram <laughs> Jones is on it. Yo, shout out to Nims in the building. Yeah, Nims. No. Bing bong. Everybody yeah. taking pictures. It's me and Max. <laughs> Yo, fucking These fucking Max. scumbags left me. But that's what they Scum get. They took bag. the bottle back. Bong, get the fuck out of here. Nah, man. they took it. They gave it back. But um, I don't drink. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Max was pissed off. Facts. Yo, that's a Yo, that shit happened in LA with us. When we was going to the weed event, remember? And Max was collecting everything. He was like, yeah, I'm Nims. So this lady <laughs> came and she seen Nims and she said, oh, did you get the thing that I got, gave you? He was like, nah, I ain't getting nothing. He turned around, Max had a bag with Max. He said, yo, give me my shit, yo. Yo, <laughs> Max, stay doing that, bro. Yeah. Max, stay doing that, bro. <laughs> Shout out my boy Max, yo, man. Shout out Max millions. World. What up, millions? Every, yo, he orders when on my riders, he orders me what I like. He gets like the plain burgers, <clears throat> pizza, soda. And then he orders mad bottles. Yo, give me honey, Casamigos. So I, re, I always go backstage and I'm like, yo, why all these liquor bottles here, bro? You know I don't drink. Bro, he takes all of them shits after the show, bro. Every time, bro. <laughs> every smart. time. I mean, bro. that's smart, though. That is smart. Because right. every rapper wants Casamigos, yeah, all of that, yeah, all of that. Yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Have a blessed night. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of blessings on this Thanksgiving. A lot of blessings, man. Yeah, clap it up for that. Let We blessed up, man. We blessed up. I would have liked that. Speaking of scumbags, no, you can't. We're filming, bro. We're filming, brother. We don't need your input. Yo, scumbag of the week. Besides him. Mm. Scumbag of the week, you got? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who's your scumbag of the week? My scumbag of the week is it's actually scumbags. Okay. It was the New York City Marathon runners. Oh, listen, listen, hear me shit. out, hear me out. All of them? Every, every single, single every one. Every single them, bro. one. And the people that put it together, listen, I live in <laughs> Brooklyn. I love I love Facts. it. Run your ass off. I think, I believe that they should have the marathon not in the five boroughs. I get that defeats the purpose. The fuck they but up, I was in front of Barclays Center for four fucking hours, just sitting there, traffic. I couldn't go this way, couldn't go that no, way. I was the same way. I was way. Me still, too. I wasting was my scumbag. time in traffic. Shout out to our first episode, because last year, first episode, I came here and I said, yo, fuck the marathon, fuck what? Wow. It is the day of the marathon. <laughs> Man, fuck that marathon. If you run, Fuck you. Yeah, that was our fir very first yeah, one, Yeah, first right? episode, yeah. yeah. So we're bringing it back. Still yeah, fucking. anniversary. Yeah. Bang, we here. Yeah. Yeah. Happy anniversary. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Fuck the bro scumbags. Fuck the bro Super runners. scumbags <laughs> because we went to, uh, the night before, we went to a porn convention. Me, mm. Paz, Uber, Fuck. the whole team. Uber was the <laughs> <best stuff. laughs> Yes, yes. Yo, Boom. I specifically I said that was top secret shit. Yo, I specifically <laughs> wanted to bring you because we had fun and we bug out. Yo, check this out. Yo, he was in the back quick, mad quick, the whole man. time, man. Fuck these bitches, man. Yo, fuck I swear to God, I smell horse. like like fish. I, I'm not joking. What? In the porn shit, I smell like fish. Ah. I'm like, what is that? I'm walking out here. And Tanner like, love. And I said, and there was a girl with a vibrator. <laughs> I Ew. said that. I said it. I said, yo, it smelled fishy. No, not since I walked in. We was like walk, it's like um like kiosk, you know, like it's like a sneaker a convention, stars. but it was yeah, like a, a porn, porn convention. Like, and uh, I didn't even see her. I just porn. smelled it like the, like I'm like, what is that? And Tanner like, look, and I looked and was like, oh my gosh, she had the, she had the big wahamzi like that. <laughs> She had some crazy shit. I said the same thing. I said, yo, it's a chick with huge tits 
big ass in a cage dancing and and she goes I think I went to high school with you <laughs> to me like, huh? I said, if you went to high school with me that was his class you mate. mad oh <laughs> hell yeah she was like yeah I'm this age I was like oh yeah all right and then she said where I went to high school which is not really publicized it's like Staten Island Tottenville I was like Maybe we did go to high school together, and then where she asked do me for I a know picture. You from? Yeah, she asked me for a picture, and I was like, "All right, I see where your light turned. You see where I turned down." <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying, People "Nice to see you like again." This. Nice to see you get back in the fucking cage. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah but <laughs> yeah. 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 nice to see yeah. you get back yeah. in the yeah. fucking yeah. cage. <laughs> yeah. Yo, nah, but we did have a good time. Shouts to Alexis, Texas. Alexis, Texas. You know what I'm saying? And also, we brought my man Mo. Mo, who came out of jail. He used to be like, yo, I used to jerk off to all these chicks from, from Buttman. <laughs> he, got, he got mad excited. He was scared. Nah, he, he was naming yeah, he, them, He though. got shell shot. So Alexis, oh, Texas, yeah. is yeah. the homie. You know what I'm saying? So I was just vibing with talking bullshit. He said, the shell shot. Yeah. Nah, nah. Shell shot. So I said, yo, my man just came, came home. He knows who you are. He wants to take a picture. She was like, come on. He was like, mm -hmm. she was like, grab my ass. Go ahead. He was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yo. Making those noises. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 He was like, my man, giggity, giggity. Giggity, giggity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Facts, yeah, facts. facts. <laughs> scumbag of the week. Who's your scumbag of the week, Paz? Uh, I don't really have Shout one. out to Expo, Exotica. That's what it is. Exotica, the porn yeah. convention, Exotica. We had a great time, and we will be back next year. I want to come next year. Hey, hey, hey. yo. <laughs> so nah, Paz, they had everything in that month. Yo, they had <laughs> some crazy shit. Who you got? Skip me, I'll come back. I, well, I was going to say. I so specifically look. text everybody. I know I don't have a scumbag. Everybody's so nice I, to Yo, me. you should have said I didn't have my cell phone. <laughs> I don't, no, no, I saw it. I don't, I'm trying yeah, to say. six. I was going to say the marathon runners, too. It doesn't make any sense to me. Wait, why? You can't steal to my answer. To shut down the city. Yeah, why you shut down the city? Because these people want to So that's what I, I brought. Uh, on, I was bro. bringing up that up. Because the next day I woke up and, you know, we had the portrait unveiling in Sunset of my portrait that the guy um, did here. Oh, that he painted right here? That he painted right here. Yeah. And um, I couldn't make it because it was from tw 12 to 3 bro. and the Verrazano was closed till 3 o'clock. Listen, look, this Crazy. is my complaint. This is the scumbag complaint. You want to run, that's fine. First of all, it's fucking freezing, but okay, you want to run. Mm -hmm. Why you got to run across the bridge and, and through a tunnel? And why run is the bridge <laughs> shut down till 3 if everybody's off the shit at 12.30? Run in Central Park, run on the sand. Go to the Hamptons, Facts. run to Connecticut. What the fuck? I don't, You're a no runner, fire, right? Don't run in the five boroughs. Why they Me, gotta I got to run in traffic? I got, I got a, the run Williamsburg police, because that same day... The Jewish police? Yeah, they shut down <laughs> my block. Well, fuck. Oh, yeah, because the same day as the marathon. And, yo, I, I had to come all the way to Coney Island, stay, drive from Williamsburg, because I couldn't get on my block all the way to Coney Island. I stood here till 11, then went home. And the whole the, the Jewish party or parade, whatever the fuck they was having, it was over. I was like, what I mean, the that's fuck? That's hard to do to run a marathon. Shout out my man Javon, man, good brother. Nah, he marathon shit marathon. is good, man, though. Man, fuck that marathon, man. Go run around the fucking lap <laughs> yeah. at Lincoln or Facts. fucking a high school. Oh, one barrel. Just bro. run around one barrel, my man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, like, you gotta yeah shut the, down the, the one whole with the most. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you running over right bridges and tunnels, bro? Yeah, you bro. Open the HOV lane. Let them run mm -hmm. in that shit. Word. With all the emissions just ripping them apart. Yeah, bro. That shit is ridiculous. <laughs> my scumbag of the week are people that take long ass U turns, bro. I fucking hate people that take long U-turns, bro. <laughs> if you if you take a fucking U-turn, have the sensibility to do it fast. Yeah, commit. You know, yeah, commit. you know people are waiting. Maybe they fuck out of here. The pressure, they're nervous. I fucked them. And then he's looking well, at them. You were looking at them, they're like, like fuck this shit. In the camo truck? truck? Shook. Yeah. yeah, they're shook. They're shook. Oh, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got one. I, oh, <laughs> now? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I thought of it. All right, go ahead. The Mexican guy in my store, he, how do you fuck up a bacon, egg, and cheese? You know what I'm saying? I just hate that shit. The fuck, you keep burning the egg. Like, what are you doing? All right, man. There it is. All right. The Mexican. You but shout out the Mexicans, though. I ain't. Yo, you got a sleeper of the week? <laughs> Movie? Uh. Mm. All right, nah. No, I started nobody, watching that nobody knew that I this started was watching that movie, Air. It wasn't all. It eh. wasn't all that. It wasn't. Busy nah. spoke highly of it. She was doodle. -doo. Yeah. It she was. was trying to scheme. You heard, Primo? <laughs> Yo, what's a good movie? I don't watch movies. I watch right, sports, thanks. bro. Good fucking, uh, I watch sports, man. That's what I like, man. 
Huh? Mm. What's your favorite sports movie? Watch, Primo. Any given Sunday was good joint. Yeah. That's that, a good that one. Was a good one. Willie Beeman. Willie Beeman. Beeman. Yeah. Listen, I'm Willie. Willie Beeman. And what was I seen one of them shits? I, I don't remember the name though, but they was in jail playing football. Longest Yard. Longest Yard, yeah. Yeah. That was funny shit. Oh, you like Tracy Morgan's character? What? <laughs> Come on. Hey. See? See? That, 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 see? That, 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 you wanna fuck around? I'm not trying to see what, what, what part. <laughs> Happy Dangiri! Happy Dangiri! Happy Dangiri! This will be our last show. Oh, here we go. Happy Dangiri! You guys say it like a Spanish. Happy Dangiri! Dangiri! Yeah, Dangiri. What colognes y'all wearing right now? Well, YSL some... LM10s. Yeah. Do your own. I was ready today. Do your own. Smelling good. I Smell forgot like the shit is in my boy. car, man. My man. shit is on the side of the car, okay. man. I forgot the name of it. But it's good. Old Spice? Nah, Pop. That's your shit. <laughs> Pops? I got Mont Blanc going. Shit is Pops. Yo, Mont Blanc? Bro, I got I thought, every I single thought they one they only they made, made pens. <laughs> when I was a kid, I thought they only made pens yes. with the little thing on it. Yo. Then I saw the, the That clone. was a sample. Huh? <laughs> now my <laughs> wife bought it for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's the guy that went through the tour? Yeah. <laughs> he never walked back. He just walked around. Yo, mine's, and I I'm, I hate that I'm giving it up because I don't want to put y'all onto it, but it's called Second oh Life God. by OUD London. OUD London. It's called Second Life. It's literally the best fragrance out, period. I'll put it up against Anything. You good then, man? Cause I don't send fuck you with London. Bottles, though, from over I know there. they yeah, sent me fact. the roll-on joint, which I hate. And homie keeps saying he's about to come to New York and he's gonna bring. Bro, he better bring me a spray bottle like this big, bro. That I don't even. Make I can't even pick up. I just and then fucking douse me. <laughs> but if I if like I had a, to spray, I would not wear nothing. He's gonna bring you a big Muslim oil you want. <laughs> oh, that's what I got. The Muslim oil. The, the shit the you hate shit. though. I just you don't like that roll-on shit, man. Even though that shit be staying on, bro. It stays on. Yo, that the other day we was in the. He was in a pool convention and he was like, yo, man, I smell like Muslim oil. Yeah. Home plate. Yo, the people with the Muslim oils, man, it's got nothing to do with Muslim, but that's what just what we call them, Muslim yeah. oil. Bro, that oil, shit, scented the, oils. Oh, the scented oils, man, that shit is disgusting, man. The These flavors. These put that shit Yo, you down yeah. somebody? What? So that shit, shit like stay on you for like 60 day. days. You eating something, you, you smell, smell it. It makes you, uh, like... Stop it with that musky shit, you fucking dirty <laughs> dad. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I hit him with the Egyptian musk the other day at the <laughs> corn spot. Shit, we yeah, started walking bro. away. He said, damn, yo, I smell like this shit, I yo. I hate when they me, bro. Fact. Damn. Yo, and uh, let's bring it, before we end, let's bring it to the Coney Islander of the week, the Coney Island artist. You know what I'm saying? This week. We ain't do drip chat. We're going to get to it. We're going right. to get to it. We ain't finish it. Relax, bro. We ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. Drip check. Bro, it's Thanksgiving, bro. Yeah. I'm not wearing nothing fly. It's Thanksgiving, bro. Thanksgiving, bro. Oh, boy, I got these joints on bro. with mad little black bro. and mild holes in them, my yeah, G. Yeah, man. Drip check. <laughs> Nigga, I'm looking for. You're dripping. Uh, what they call that shit they did, Byron? GoFundMe. Go I'm looking for a GoFundMe check. <laughs> we just did one for um, we for Renito. For yeah. for nah, Renito yeah, to nah, get him to Puerto Rico. Who? But we got to we got to yeah. get enough money to go with him. Who? Thanks. We all go with him. Papa. Papa, yeah. yeah, make sure he good. Papa was that dude back in the days. He's washed up now. Yeah, fact. That's what he was saying. He was that dude. That's what he, he was saying that. Yo, he was saying that. He used to go to clubs. six different baby mamas. He used to get all the posses of girls. He'd make them laugh. He, he said he hasn't got pussy in seven years. Pop, that nigga got like 15 kids, homie. He don't yeah. need no more yeah. pussy. Oh, oh. Take care of them kids. <laughs> if you want to see what we're talking about, join our Patreon. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Gorilla Nems. So yeah, this pass. week... My Coney Island artist that I'm showing love to is my man Buck Buck. You know what I'm saying? From 23rd Street. He really got it. He got it lit. He's doing his thing. It should be on World Star. You know, like, a lot of people have given me phone calls about this kid. Like, yo, who's homie? He's from your hood. You know him? I'm like, yeah, that's the homie. We got a joint together. But I'm not going to play that. Um, I'm going to play a joint, Bust a Move by Buck Buck. Hey. Yeah, Boykin. Hey. Huh? Yeah, Boykin. Yeah, Boykin. Damn. The radio died. Wow. It broke the radio. That's how it was meant Just to when be. I was about to get started. Go check out my man, B U C C, B U C C. Facts. Buck Buck. Shout out Official Buck Buck. That's Coney my Island. boy. He does his thing. He got banging music. Facts. And, uh, and that's what it is. Busy. You got the Facts. NEMS Gems? Yes. Let's go. But while we do the NEMS Gems, let's get to the Monster Energy Drip Check. 
Shout out Monster. Shout out Monster Energy. Yeah. Continuing. Be nice to us, Monster. Yeah, facts. So right now, what I'm wearing, the FYSL. Hold on, let me go to my con geek. Snapback. <laughs> boom. Available right now in the FYL store. I got the Life of Gang Hood Tour. Hoodie. This is one of my favorite hoodies. Listen, I've been trying to not only just put out dope designs, but now make quality, extra quality <laughs> garments that stand the test of time, that look fresh, but also feel fresh. These are very good hoodies. They're available now. The back, I made it like the Grateful Dead, but it's with a gorilla skull. You know what I'm saying? Like a Grateful Dead tour t-shirt. Right. Mm -hmm. So I made it with the Perfect. gorilla skull. It says, fuck your life, hood tour. On the back, instead of like the dates that we on tour, it has all the projects in Coney Island. And uh, it's probably one of my favorite hoodies of this season. And uh, I love this shit right Same. here. Right. Got the vintage Averex, you know what I'm saying? This is, uh, you know, I like. I'm not gonna give up where I found it, but I like to keep my shit. You know, I don't Exclusive. paint my shit. I keep. I, I like having the old AVs. Got the Ralph Lauren uh, camo pants. You never could go wrong with that. And uh, I got the playoff eights. Let's go. Yeah, Boykin. You know, I got the FYL hat. Fuck your life. I got no feeling season. They kept me nice and warm today. I just got this hoodie yesterday. Got the Dickies on. I got another pair of Cactus Jacks. I got three more for y'all. If I keep coming back. Woo! Light work. Slow down, son. You're killing me. <laughs> All right, I'll slow down. It's I got great. the uh, FYL Ricky hat. That's my favorite hat. And we call that the FYL Ricky hat because that's the last hat that he had on uh, when he passed. Rest in peace to my cousin Ricky. Facts. The Facts. last hat that he was wearing was that hat right there with the black Puerto Rico flag on the side. Facts. So we named that Libertad. hat. That's Libertad. That's Ricky Snapback officially. It's on the website. In Coney Island, yeah. Store. Facts. Go ahead. I got the uh, Lane Stevenson tour hoodie with uh, Court Smith. There's some fire shit. Shout out Lane Stevenson. His pop stretch and his mom's burning dead. Those are my people from Coney Island. I got the Jordan 6's black Hudson jeans. And uh, I got some Gorilla Nim socks. That's how we giving it up out here. Fire. Fire. I yeah, got six. some Foam Runners, Yeezy, um, Ralph Lauren Cargos, LA Apparel, Hoodie, Carhartt Jacket, um, Bearded Goose Hat, FYL Pin. You getting by on the bare essentials of FYL every week. I don't Sons, know why you keep saying that. Yo, I'm twisted. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Why do you keep saying that? Because you're not, Paz got the hat. Nigga, I come here and spend money. I don't have to spend money, but I do every time. You're right, but you're not the, the requisite. It's not, the, I don't no, wear the bare no. minimum. I got a lot of FYL on my shit. You do? Oh, he was waiting for the answer since last episode. Mm. No, 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 I'm not. I'm just saying it's just, it's not real. That's not real. So what? That's what I'm saying, it's not real. I do wear FYL. Yo, Monica, you gotta relax, I fuck Monica. with this brand, I rep this brand. She gotta take a, a shit. Hit. She took a hit. She gotta take a shit. That's what it is. Some Damn. Shit. She Yo, take you got any FYL on, Pop? I ain't got no FYL on. I just got nah. out of bed. Yo, yo, you can't be on that. Hold, hold, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Time. Time. <laughs> time. I'm busted, disgusted, and can't be trusted. <laughs> 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 I only get dipped when I'm taking long flights and beautiful trips. Oh, oh. yo. Yeah. Right now, I just made my, sad, get you my one appearance looking bummy because I just got out of work. But the money. best thing I got on is a low jacket, my low coat, my windbreaker pants, regular degla. You chilling, you? Yeah. Just came from work. Yeah. Ain't nothing to talk about, work. man. But you know, the next time when I come on, I'm going to show you how you dress. Oh, I'm going to show you how you dress. You know oh, what I mean? Man. I'm going to have to dress to impress from now on, Come back on, to the man. Christmas joint. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. you heard? got dressed to, to impress. I'm going to have to get on my wild Christmas thing, episode man. dressed to impress. I'm going to just get on my wild thing. Hey, you heard, boy? I'm going to have all the wild things all the things from now on. Dressed to impress. Pa' crema. Pa' We're going to cut the cake like that. What you got, busy? You got the mic? Keep it crispy. Yeah, yeah. Crispy, crispy. Oh, you're mic'd up? Yeah. All right. What's no, up, long-time no. listener? Actually, this person, this is David Albert. I don't know where they're from. Uh, they said, thank you guys for doing what you do. The show has got me through some hard times. My son was in the ICU for 15 days. I'm an ex-con, recovering addict like yourself. I may have been in C-76, same time as you. I've been upstate and rehab, and by the grace of God, I've been clean for 15 years. 
how do you chill with people and go to function? Let's clap it up for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Man, God bless. God right. bless, man. Clap how do you chill with people? So I guess this is for you specifically, Nims. How do you chill with people and go to functions where alcohol and weed is ever present? I want to get out more and reconnect with people that are doing well, but I don't want to put myself in a situation. I know your profession makes it difficult for you to avoid these things. How do you keep a social life and recovery? Thank all of you. Much love, FYL. Damn, that was good. You gotta have strong yeah. willpower, man. Now, um, right, basically what it is, is that you gotta know what you want out of life. You gotta know that if you take that first one, it's gonna lead you to the hundredth one, thousandth, thousandth one. One is too many and a thousand is never enough. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta know your limitations. If you feel like you're susceptible, susceptible. Susceptible, susceptible yeah. To, damn, what's going on with me, bro? I'm just like, Yo, it's getting cold. Popeye, it's getting Popeye, cold. Popeye, Popeye rubbed off on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you it's getting cold. Popeye, Popeye. You got the yeah, you yeah, getting the bump. You got the <laughs> remito. To, you got hit with the remito. If you feel like you're going to get high or you're going to have a drink or all of that, like, you got to just stay home. Talk to somebody in recovery or talk to somebody that's positive in your life. Um, but if you feel like, you got to just know. Like, I know, like, I know I don't want to smoke. I know I don't want to drink. I know I don't want to go back to that lifestyle. So no matter what situation you put me in front of, people go offer me, people offer me drinks all the time, people offer me weed all the time. I know that that's not conducive to the lifestyle that I want to live. I know that me smoking or drinking is not going to bring my dreams any step closer. It's not going to bring money anywhere closer to me. So I just abstain from it because I know what I want. You got to know what you want, man. You got to look deep inside yourself. 15 years, you should be able to go out. You know what I'm saying? With 15 years clean or sober. You should be able to go out in any situation and be good, but if you're not, maybe you got to work on some recovery more. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's, that's a good answer. Yeah. That's, fire, that's a good man. answer, man. Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. And with that, yo, listen, man. This is the Fuck Your Life Thanksgiving episode. Hopefully, there's still some time for us to go to our family's cribs, go eat some turkey. You know, we doing this shit live. Fast. Live action. Sure. Live Fast. action. And, uh, <laughs> We getting the fuck out of here. Strength and honor. Strength time. and honor. Don't fuck forget. Fuck your life. Let's go. Strength fuck and your life. Long. <laughs> Don't ever disrespect me. Ever, 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 ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect me. Pussy.